Swimming in Australia is, is the most successful Olympic sport. Australia, in an Olympic term, is the second best nation that's ever been behind the USA. We're really lucky in Australia that the Australian sporting system, right back from 1982, the government funded the Australian Institute of Sport. That was where sports science in Australia was really born. And so Australia in sport in general has always been at the forefront of science. I guess the ultimate piece of analysis that we look at is always the race. That's the basis of where the evidence starts is what's actually done in the competition pool and using that race analysis to analyse the performance. Physiological testing will give you evidence, whether it be blood lactates or gas analysis or um, sleep monitoring evidence on how the athlete is responding to training programs that the coaches are using. So it's about pulling that training evidence and combining it with the race analysis and looking for opportunities to improve certain parts of the race and then how you might do that in training. So the difference we have now from 20 years ago is that we can capture all eight finalists from Olympic Games and World Championships and then we can dovetail that on some of the best Australians. We can see what we need to do in terms of our overall skills, whether that's starts and turns added together, but we can also get the stroke mechanics, whether that be how they pace the race, their distance for stroke, their stroke rate. That bit is the key. That tells us then the, the, the kind of priority and the focus area when the coaches come back into training. It's about understanding what's important for that individual and trying to develop more of an individualised bespoke program around the individual swimmer. A really good example is a coach will be running a training session and they'll be talking to their swimmers and taking times and stroke rates on their stopwatches and for example they might be timing a turn and then they'll go, what's the fastest turn in the world at the moment for the 100 metre backstroke? And you need to be able to answer that straight away. We started working with AWS 18 months ago. The High Performance Unit at Swimming Australia works with AWS in the data space. The problem was that we had a lot of data in swimming and we knew that there was great insight and knowledge in that data, but we weren't maximising that. With the help of the solutions architects at AWS, we were able to put all that data in one place and now the data is starting to talk to each other. The potential for the data is huge. It's really mind blowing, I think. We've laid the concrete slab by building our data lake with AWS. We're just starting to now dip our toes in the water, excuse the pun, with yeah, machine learning and AI. And what that'll do is hopefully tell us things that we didn't even know potentially. For example, like the trajectory of a swimmer. So if you took the 100 metre freestyle, looking at not just that athlete, but looking at athletes that have been successful over multiple years in that event and looking at what made them successful and then being able to use machine learning or AI to then go, okay, well, where does this athlete fit on that trajectory? So you're potentially then looking at performance trajectory and going, okay, well, this athlete's above the curve or whether they're below the curve, but they're showing other signs and characteristics. ML will allow us to continue to develop that learning, but the machine will do a lot of that learning for us, rather than for us as scientists to have to sit there for hours and days and weeks and months and years, plugging in data points. The machine will be able to do that at such a more rapid rate. It's 100% predictive. So we're looking at what's it gonna take to win, not just in Tokyo in 2021, but what's it gonna take to win in Paris in 2024, and then 2032 in Brisbane. We're definitely competitive and world leading in the work that we do in the sports science area. It's kind of like a race to the moon, you know, like you're always trying to stay one step ahead because at the end of the day, it's how you use that information and how the coaches understand it and can apply it. That's the most important thing. And information, data and knowledge is power.